child we just left lying down, Mr. Sebo, is the current deputy alpha. And he has been deputy to three alpha males, but he has never competed for position number one, which I think is good politics because he has kept there. If he had been alpha, then he would have left long time, but he has maintained that. And uh, chimpanzees have got no specific partners, so they belong to the community. And chimps are not as selfish as gorillas, because gorillas live in families and chimpanzees live in big communities. And uh, always when a female chimpanzee is receptive, then she will mate with almost all the males around. And she has got a cycle that goes for around 33 or 34 days. And within this cycle, she has got 14 days of reception. So on average, a female chimp mates 30 times in a day. But 52 times have been recorded. And this is with different in males. Fun. In a day. With different males. <laughs> Comes to but the this female will have around three days, three or four days that she will be particular or specific in terms of which male to go with. Oh. For three days, <laughs> within her 14 days. Oh. She has three days or four days where she will be so selective in terms of which males to copulate with because these are the days that she's expecting to conceive in or like maybe the ovulation days. So sometimes you find a receptive female leaving the main group and is hanging away with one or two males because she knows these are the days that she's likely to get pregnant. Mm -hmm. So much as we say chimpanzees don't know their fathers, but it is possible that this mother can suspect who the father of her child is just because of those days that she specified uh, in terms of the males. And they have got uh, eight months gestation, very close to humans. And this mother will entirely keep the baby on breast milk for the first four months without letting this baby take any solid substance. So it's at around five months that uh, a baby is taking solid food. And then breastfeeding takes averagely two years. Uh, however, it has been realized that uh, some mothers who do crop riding have had their breastfeeding uh, time reduced. And uh, averagely, chimpanzees take four or five years spacing between the babies. But still these mothers who do crop riding have had their spacing intervals reduced. Like they say one mother has given birth at two and a half years. Uh, that is a the result of meaning for the two years. So there are some changes. And uh, it's at around uh, five years that this mother is dropping the the child because she already has a small baby to carry and when the baby is still small it will be carried on the bed and when it is getting a bit strong that's when it goes on the back and at around six years chimps are getting some bit of independence because the mother is already having in another child and this one is getting a bit firm to move independently but still closely moving with the mother and it's at around eight years that females get into puberty. So that is the adolescent uh, who give them to wear. That's when the females will start swelling or going in ostras. But this is uh, like false ostras. Because even if one copulated, she would not conceive because she's not yet mature. So female maturity is at around the age of 12 years. 12 is average. That's when one can get pregnant. And uh, for the boys, it is at around 9 or 10 years that they become adolescents. And then 15 years is social maturity. And their life expectancy in the wild goes for 50 to 55 years.
But in captivity, they live for more than that. Yeah. And uh, still the weight of the chimpanzees varies from the ones in the wild and those in captivity. Because averagely in the wild, it is uh, 45 to around 55 for the males and then females 35 to around 50. That's the average weight. But uh, in captivity, they get heavier than that because they are fed and maybe treated. But for the wild ones, if there's no food naturally, then nothing will be there for them. And in case of any big injuries, that's when the vets will come. But for minor <coughs> injuries, they heal naturally. Only if a chimpanzee has gotten into a snare. You know, people still lay traps in here, targeting uh, antelopes and bush pigs. But accidentally you find chimpanzees getting in there. And then that's when the darting will come in and then the snares will move. And chimpanzees will make a nest every new night. And the nest is for one individual. And this nest has to be up in the trees. Only if a chimpanzee is very ill, not able to climb to make a nest, that's when he or she can have a ground nest. And uh, sometimes they make their nests, but that is in case it is wet and maybe he's muddy a bit, that's when you see him pulling a few leaves and putting them together. Like where he's lying, he would have put more leaves if he wasn't comfortable. And that is their nesting which is on the ground. And if you moved in the forest and found lots of like uh, these signs, you see, like this, most of the saplings are tied, then that means the chimpanzee lied down, had a night on the ground. But then that is not a good sign because it will be an indication that there's a possibility of an epidemic. That's a sign that many chimpanzees are sick. So, but they really, they only do it maybe in case they are not feeling well and not able to climb. So, you see those dry leaves? <laughs> yeah, that is a chimpanzee. Aww. Yeah, but that is a very old leaf. And why we say every new night is a new nest? Is because even when a chimpanzee wanted to use that one, then fresh materials have to be put on top to make it fresh and more comfortable. And it's only a mother who shares the nest with the little one. Otherwise, everyone will make his or her own. Yeah. So one question about the deputy mm -hmm. male. Mm -hmm. What does he get in exchange? What's his benefit? Of uh, being the deputy male. Or what is what is his job? What's his benefit? Well, it's it's his like, job and his benefit. It's like in human politics. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's not different. So, of course, when you are the boss, uh -huh. you have lots of benefits. First of all, it's like there's a receptive female and you are interested, then you have the first priority than any other male. And uh, if, like, chimpanzees have hunted and killed, and this alpha is present, then they submit the catch to him, and then he decides. And uh, if he's charging like the way you saw him coming in, then everyone had to scream. And that's a sign of respect. And if anyone is attacking him, then the rest of the chimps will come and rescue him. <clears throat> and even when one gets a fruit, there are fruits like uh, of this size, we call them uh, Monodora meristica or calabash nutmeg. So if like one has got his calabash fruit and the alpha needs it, then he'll just come and put the hand and you submit it to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, privileges like in human politics. And the deputy also plays a role that vice presidents do. <laughs> yeah. He also has privileges after the, the alpha male. Mm -hmm. yeah. And how does he help the alpha male? Uh, he helps the alpha male in a way that if he's being fought, he'll be there for him. And also if the alpha is not there, then they submit to him. And uh, some of the deputies, like the deputy I saw here in uh, 
when I just came in in 2010, there was an alpha who was very old and uh, he just disappeared and he was being helped by his deputy. So the deputy did not fight at all. When this guy disappeared, then he just took over without any single fight because he had done most of the uh, alpha's duties because he was extremely aged and his name was Mobutu. They named him after the Congolese president of that time <laughs> called Mobutu who was also aged a bit. So they said this guy is Mobutu also. Mm -hmm. So this guy who replaced uh, Mobutu was called Magezi and uh, Magezi also kept in the position for one, two, three, for around four years and then uh, he was overthrown by a very uh, young and strong chief. He was called Toti. Toti fought for like three years. He fought every other chief, including people. He would not take two days without dragging somebody down. Like, if we were standing like this, and he wanted to go through here, he'd just start bristling his hair and drag lots of weapons, and then maybe hit you and you fall off. And then he'd sit and look at you. So he behaved like that for three years until he toppled Magezi. But Magezi was also in his late uh, 30s, so he just gave up. And then Toti kept the position for around three years. Yeah, around three years. But uh, he fell sick and went up the tree and he became weak and fell off and then died. Then this guy we saw, the current Alpha, was a very close friend to Toti, but not his deputy, just a friend. And uh, when Toti passed on, then Efuzi fought for like three weeks because he had been a close friend, then he also took over. And he's the one we are still having. So Sebo, the one we've just seen, is a deputy to Efuzi. He was a deputy to Toti. And he was a deputy to Magezi. So three alpha males. But he's still a deputy. And I don't think he'll ever be alpha. Not the personality. Yeah. He may just end a vice alpha if not even kicked out of that position yeah so he's the helper of the alpha yes but he does not get the mate he does oh he does he does but only he, after the alpha after the alpha giving him so when when uh what does the community do when when there's a sick chimp do they let him go up in the tree to die do they let him wander off by themselves do they no. gather when a chimpanzee is sick you know, chimps are like humans. They have close friends, they have some other friends. You'll find when one is not well, he'll be with his friend at some point. And uh, when he extremely gets unwell, then that means he will not be able to compete for the resources. Then he sometimes gets isolated. So that he's having less competitors for maybe food or things like that. And uh, like if it's a, a mother and her child is sick, you'll always find the mother with this child. You know, chimpanzees only know their maternal relatives. So their maternal? find maternal, like uh, their mother's children, because they don't know who their father is, so they don't know who are their paternal brothers and so on. So you'll find, like, there's one chimp whose arm was broken. After, when this guy was competing for dominance, this current one, for a few weeks, then there's a young boy who was around 17, 16, 17, who also showed interest in the position. 
and he was really good at charging, displaying, mm -hmm. showing off to even the senior males. And that is a sign of insubordination. So he got challenged. But uh, around one, let me see, around, okay, almost one year back, 11 or 12 months these guys decided to break his arm they got him and dislocated his arm yeah. so he now moves when the arm is right he doesn't fold the arm he didn't heal correctly he's not yet healed so that was a way of deforming him so that he doesn't compete anymore and he has a brother who has been by his side throughout that period. Yeah, but now he's, he, can fly, he can fly, but he will not bend the arm. So they have friends. When one is sick, a friend will be with him. And if like a, a chimp died, the juvenile chimp died, then the mother will carry the body with her, infants and juveniles. Everywhere she goes, she'll go with the body drag it up into the trees come down with it if it's a bit heavy for her when she gets tired somebody close takes up the body and they will do that until this body starts decomposing and that's when they will drop it maybe that's when they are confirming that there's no more life i don't know yeah, but they've done that and if it is a mature chimp who has died these guys mourn you see them making very strange acts and making strange calls and one comes there they sit around look at the body and later they'll leave it there yeah and chimpanzees have gone for wars and uh, these are organized during the patrols and in case they encounter those other guys then they have to fight and at some point when they are suspecting an enemy you'll see them changing behavior like they'll be moving in a single file on the trails they reach somewhere and they all squat down they wait to assess the situation of the enemy and uh, at some point they may get a bit worried and then you see them hugging one another and trying to kiss sometimes chimps have shook hands this we've seen and then you'll see one pressing the balls of the colleague he comes and he's trying to mount his frail males and then he presses the balls and that is what we call reassurance yeah when you start seeing that you know this guy is giving a colleague courage they also get scared and uh, every movement they hear then they'll stop and get on the legs and they even start walking, trying to observe from a distance. Because it is a deadly act that they are going for. And if they feel scared and not able to go and attack, then you'll see them directing. Everyone will direct. And then they start running the wall. There they will go dragging their arms on the ground. And they disappear. And chimpanzees are next to human beings in terms of modifying tools and weapons. And uh, the common tool that chimpanzees here have used are the leaves. So commonly used have been, I mean leaves have been used as wipers. So like uh, there's this tree here. These small trees you see with a lot of leaves are called uh, Euvaliopsis. And Euvaliopsis puts fruits in big numbers. And those fruits cause diarrhea to chimpanzees. So every time a chimpanzee defecates, you'll see him getting uh, some leaves. And then he'll wipe himself. Really? Yes. He may do it like twice. And uh, after mating, mature males have wiped themselves using leaves. And this time, he'll get the leaves, wipes himself, and then smells on. Like three or four times until he feels he's clean. And uh, sponges have also been made out of leaves. Like if a chimpanzee got water in a hole on the ground or in a cavity on the tree, then he'll get some leaves and then you see him crushing the leaves. 
sometimes they chew the leaves and then he'll dip the sponge in the water that's a fight he dips the leaves and then he's pouring in the mouth until he gets what is enough and tiny sponges have been made out of leaves gets a few leaves and this time he'll chew the leaves very finely and then puts in saliva and that is for cleaning the wound just in case he's not able to lick the wound for cleaning then he'll use that sponge and the sticks have been made really modified like uh, if a chimpanzee got uh, a hive and there's honey and the hand cannot access the honey then he'll get a stick like this and then you see him trying to modify this stick and then he'll be poking it as he licks and if it's a mother with a baby she'll get and give this little baby and when the bees start sticking her then he'll get like a branch with leaves and you'll see her or him wiping the bees off so quickly and then he'll run away and the common tool that chimpanzees have used are pieces of wood. Yeah. They get pieces of wood for fights. They throw them? Yeah, they throw, they hit, and they have also used uh, some sticks for buttress drumming. You had how he was kicking the tree. Mm -hmm. But if he has kicked and uh, has not got what he wanted, then he get a piece of wood and you see him hitting this tree and then he supplements with the noise and i think only chimpanzees have done this i'm not sure of any other animals yeah okay we we'll get moving Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go.